Hello, and welcome to part two of the reimagined journey. Um, hmm. I've got my necro who I've called Death. How original. It's 34, but I am struggling with Diablo. Um, to the point that this afternoon I nearly gave up because it was just madness. It's like I've got a level 80 fucking necro on the other game. Why can't I just go back to that? But. This fight's worth it. All I gotta do is get back to Nightmare and then we can really enjoy this journey again. So this is a bit of a tedious time. So Rid's idea because I was gonna just go back to the other one and farm hell. And then Rid's just said, We'll just do another character and farm items because these items aren't fantastic at the moment. Um because even though I can have, I mean, if we log in briefly, because I've already used my reset, because I panicked. But, um, if we look at him at the moment, he's got that, which is, is nice, I suppose. But he's not really, he's got nothing, really. The other problem is, and I suppose this really only affects necromancers and possibly druids, if, if you're going down the pet class, is normal difficulty this sounds mad but normal difficulty is the hardest difficulty um and for a simple reason is because you're leveling up like if we look at the situation that i'm in at the moment um i've i've basically used my re respec uh, so at one point i had all these because you can have all the golems at the same time but a very strange thing happens um, when I go for Diablo. Because when I went for Diablo, in fact, fuck it, let's stay on this character while we're talking and we can play it out and we can see. Um, because originally when I went for Diablo, if you remember rightly, in the first journey, uh, I didn't film it because I just got so frustrated. And the only way I could do it was with let me just buy some potions um was with the uh getting the golem um yeah putting um what was it ah iron maiden on dd and then just yeah hoping that he hits the golem and does damage to himself and that's it that's all you could do and it drove me mad so yeah uh, hence that's why i've respect see now i'm thinking about what's up ahead and um i don't want to do it to be honest i would prefer to start a new journey on the sorceress because she's quite easy at the beginning uh, a lot easier to get through normal than than it is for the necro purely because like i said the necro at the moment i'm getting all this built up so th that has to be 20 that has to be 20 that has to be 20 20 if i want all of these 20 20 20 20 20 so i don't know how many skills i don't know how, i don't know what level i'll be on that um, these are okay as they are, although I would like to get to there at some point. So there's that. So as you can see, so I mean, forgetting these three, right? Because I, I do like the idea of having three, but I'm quite happy trying to recreate what I had. Yeah. So I'm happy just uh, now the mages are more powerful. I would sooner have 20, 20, 20. Once that gets to 20, I can have two of them. So I'd be happy with two clay golems. These golems are basically... I mean, the fire one seem to do all right. Um, the iron golem, because there's no points in, in there, these just weren't doing anything. And the second I hit Diablo, uh, or most of the time before I even got near Diablo, it completely floored everything. It was literally just me and, uh, you know, that young lady who, again, she's not even equipped with a lot. So, do I go out 
and just lose my shit at the end um, because I haven't got enough points. You know, I need, I do need to level up on this character, but I'd sooner just do that behind the scenes. I don't think you should need to go through that because it's going to be fucking grueling because it's literally, I'm just going to have to keep, probably go to act, I don't know, three or whatever, and just keep running backwards and forwards, or stay up here and run backwards and forwards. Um, because until I get my skills up, you know, it's it's a bit of a pain in the arse. That's why Nightmare Diablo, pff, piece of piss. Because by then, I'd built up enough skill points to, you know, 20 there, 20 there. I think that was quite high. Uh, that was at 20. I think that was probably at 20 or close. Because I was like 80 odd uh, when I got to hell. I know that's quite a high level, I'm thinking. Because I'm sure I was watching a video that he was saying stuff like, you know, a skilled player could uh, basically get to hell by level 40. It's like, shit, what am I doing wrong then? Because I'm 34 and I'm just getting up to Diablo. So I'm really not sure. So let's go do some work on this character because this is a lot. This is going to be fun. This is just shooting, dead simple. Uh, she's a great little character. Um, if you're wondering, you know why I've moved, I I did. This is the second part of this story. Uh, it's it's simple because this is the reimagined mob. Um, it doesn't it doesn't make the game ultra easy at all it just makes the game more fair and more enjoyable and that's it really in a nutshell and um, they've done a few tweaks with some of the characters um, and I mean it's, it's just done with love it's I can't it's, there's no other way of putting it it's this this whole mod is, is a love mod they, they, whoever did this uh, they did this out of love now hang on where am I going what have we got one minute let's get me head back in the clouds out of the clouds right we need to go kill her um, because it just improves the game to the point now that unfortunately I'm probably never going to play the other one now I mean this is a grinding curve um, and it's going to be a painful one um, getting my necro back to the 80s she'll probably get to her 80s and I don't know when I'm going to do another Amazon you know I'll probably just concentrate on these two for now um, so I'm, hang on I can put her let me just apparently you don't need a space see now I don't know if it did it or not You don't. Cool. Alright, so we're on eight. Not enough mana. One thing I've noticed about this game, I don't know if it's just the ice attacks, but this cannon fodder when you kill them seems to be everywhere. It might be ice, to be honest. But I'm sure on my necro. Ah, hang on. My necro's got an ice caster. Um, but yeah if you're thinking of playing Diablo 2 in my opinion this is the only way to play it it's, this is perfect um, you know it, it's just it's, I don't it just makes the game more enjoyable I mean the game's fun um, but like I said before, me and me and Rids were chatting about it, and one hundred percent, this is what we love about this game. Is once you understand what this game is, it's basically a cool story told over a fruit machine. Every, honestly, every mob you kill has the chance of dropping fucking nice loot. Obviously, your level plays a part in some of the loot on the loot tables, but you know, in general, this is fucking. This is a fruit machine. Oh, and I've run out of bloody mana. Come on. Bang. So, yeah, once you get your head around that, that is cool. I'm hoping that if we're going to do this, I'm going to I'm gonna hopefully do a, at least a couple. Let's just see. I, I'd like to get Act 1 and 
get at least, you know, into Act 2. Uh, obviously, some of the stuff that I'm picking up, I don't really want. I'm just... Do -do 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 -do. Right, I need to get rid of some of these. This is something that hasn't fucking changed, has it? And then that. That's defense two. That's defense three. Cannot be repaired. Oh, that's what that does. A boom. Uses a lot of mana. Not enough mana, because you just fucking wasted it. What are you like? See, straight away I can tell that's a, a non-fixable item. Which I've forgotten. Today's been probably... Um, while, while we're not doing anything, I'll tell you what I've been up to today. It's been probably one of the fucking best days in a while. I mean, I don't know, every time I see my kids and my grandkids is a good day. But I mean, today's just been extra special. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me just do that. Long story short, um, I. Which one have I got? Max. It's that, I'm sure it is. Does that one use more mana than is that? 6.5. Huh? I just went down. That. 6.5. Where it says 6.5, and I am I do this a lot, I'm pointing, you can't see me pointing. Mana cost 6.5. A minute or a few seconds ago, that said 7 something. Cast it. Okay, don't know. Not sure what happened there, but that definitely changed. Anyway, so, today, or tonight, my... Uh, one of my sons borrowed me the money and the other one of my sons took me to pick it up and we went to pick up um, some Star Wars figures uh, from episode one right oh man right first of all the price was just low it was it was silly low right so I was scared of you know it's going to be a hoax so many things because my head's up my ass most of the time right so anyway, we get to this house. Oh, oh my god, this house is like, wow. Okay, it's like it was like being in Beverly Hills. It's fucking beautiful. Even on the outside, it was just a beautiful house. So we get in, and the guy was great. He opened the door, big smile, hi, nice baba. We we you know come on in. So we go in, and uh, obviously I'm not going to give you names and numbers. That's no. Anyway, right, so we get in, right, and he's got the figures ready, right, because obviously he was expecting us, right. So, he says to me, he, he opens the box and he shows me the figures, oh, and he could tell I was like a child, honest to God. Because these are stuff, this is like 30 odd years old, these figures, and my kids were tiny when, in fact, my kids were being born, I think, or one of my kids was born the same year the films came out. And um, so I did have a few of them, but you know I'm now in a much better situation because uh, my kids have all grown up and left, and so I don't have to get rid of collections because they need fucking shoes or whatever. Anyway, right. So, so he showed me this collection right that I've just bought, purchased right for a very very reasonable price right, and and he says to me he says. Um, Oh, you, you know, it's it's nice that you're a collector, but if, if you like uh, this, because this was like 25 figures plus the, it, I don't know if, uh, but the episode one figures, they came with this little chip thing, which doubled up as a stand, so you could put your, your character on it, and then you could use it as a stand, but also you had this machine which was a replica for the machines they used in the film, the 
talk, walkie-talkie type things. And um, you'd put your character with the chip over it on this machine, and then it would talk, which was cool. Um, so yeah, there was that. So he said, "So yeah, if you, so if if you like this, he said, um, I'm I've, I'm just about to put up a collection from episode three, Revenge of the Sith, right? Now, at this time, I was probably I think I was at McFlurry, so I was collecting horror. I don't think I was doing Star Wars, so I didn't have any." Of this collection at all I, I don't think I ever bought any of it so I said to this guy no no look I've got X amount of money I've got enough for this deal no please don't show me anything else please right because I was I was getting I was getting so fucking excited <laughs> oh my my son was just looking at the house and it's like oh my god this is like it was like a film star's house. It's beautiful. It's just absolutely fucking amazing, right? So, this guy, right, who was just a fucking great guy. You could just tell he was a great guy. He probably owns a business or something, right? He says to me, he said, nah, just come and have a look at it. You, you know, you're in. And I just looked at my son and it's like, my son just looked at me and I could see what was going in his head. He was looking at it in his dad's eyes thinking, oh my God, I've never seen you like this. So I thought, oh fuck it, can I, can I go, can we, yes, come on, let's go. We walk in this kitchen, well fuck me, this kitchen, right, it was like an, a house on its own, it was just fucking massive, you could have played fucking tennis, you could have played football in this kitchen, it was massive, right, well, I think his missus was at this, I wasn't really, because I'd seen this table, this big, long sort of last supper size table right it's fucking massive right and straight away i just seen all these figures right all boxed none of them had been opened they were all in their fucking cases right and this table was just <gasps> and that was me i was just god i was like it was like homer simpson when he got a fucking donut right i was just on another level another fucking level right and I'm looking at these figures, and I couldn't, I wasn't even taking it in, I was just, it was, oh my god, there's an R2, oh my god, there's the fucking C3P, oh my, just fucking melting, because, yeah, like I say, these were figures that, at the time, they were out of my league, because they were very expensive by this point, um, because they realised, oh, the people are going to pay the money again, like they used to. So by the by the third film, the, the prices were hiking up, but they were putting more detail, they were putting more effort into the figures, so they were better quality figures, they were more, you know. But anyway, so I'm looking, and I'm just fucking melting, and he could tell that I was melting, right? So we had a chat about these, and it was just like, oh my God. And uh, then he says to me, and my son, he says, uh, take your shoes off, he said, I'll, I'll show you something special. And it was like, oh my god! So we took off. I'm fucking taking me. And I said to me, have we got time for? Cause I know you need. No, no, we're all right, Dad. Come on, we'll go. Because he knows what I'm like, right? So, oh my fucking god! So this guy. So thank God I changed my socks last night. Because honest to God, imagine. It. Anyway, so I took my shoes off. And Mark was going to, I mean, someone's going to stay downstairs, right? And then he said, come on, take, so he took his shoes off. So we're going upstairs. On the way upstairs, this guy's got fucking uh, vintage, fucking vintage figures, right? That are, that have been um, graded. They're in their little cases. He had a fucking, a biker scout um, on the, with the speeder bike, with the, the exploding one, which I had two of when I was a kid. And it fucking blew my mind. And I'm walking up these stairs, right? And honestly, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks now, right? And he's got everything. He's got, oh, it's just mad. Get to the top of the stairs. There's a fucking, uh, an attack, right? The original fucking Empire attack, right? And I'm just, and then he opens this fucking door, right? Now, first impressions, you walk in this room, and it's just like, you look, there's a big TV. There's a big sofa in that. And you don't notice at first. But then you look around the wall, and fuck me, right? This was his holy rail and this is why this guy was selling 
some of his some because he's got everything by the sounds of it but he was selling a lot of his collections right to get one figure just one vintage figure right this is how and this would this was his pride and the oh my and we got in this room right and a lot of these figures i've never seen i've never fucking seen them in the in the in oh it was just a madness i couldn't breathe I genuinely, I'm trying to talk to this guy, and I'm looking around this fucking room, right? And I, I couldn't breathe. I was nearly having palpitations. It was a madness. So yeah, so today has just been fucking amazing, an amazing day. Uh, I met an amazing, like I said, I met an amazing guy. Fantastic fucking house. Um, but yeah, so I've got some episode one figures. And I've got, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting the collection, the episode three. So, yeah, I'm picking them up on Wednesday, which I fucking can't wait. See, I'm just thinking about it. I'm getting all giddy. Honestly, that's all my, I mean, I'm just a kid. I am such a kid. Um, I mean, I'm an adult. I'm 50 odd, but I, I'm just a kid inside. Um, I can't explain it. The joy that I get. It's like my bedroom now. I've moved it downstairs, but it's not a bedroom. It's it's turning into a toy shop, <laughs> and I love it. There's something about because I was trying to work out right because a lot of my figures and that is, you know, I am getting to the age now, and my kids, like I say, are grown up. So I've got grandkids now, and I fucking worship these little cunts, right? And I'm getting to a point now where. I want to open these figures. I want to do dioramas. I want to do, you know, things. Um, I don't know, but I see how it goes. And it someone's just beeped me. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I know you're still up now. One minute. I know you're still up now because I went to have a look. Um, yeah, it was just. I, I can talk to you about it tomorrow. It's no biggie. But it was just something that I was thinking about, right? Um, and then, I, yeah, I'll chat to you tomorrow. Because I'm on a stream at the moment, dude. Um, taking out my little sorceress. Because my necro, it got to Diablo. And I just got my head kicked in again. And so, yeah. I'm just telling everyone about the fantastic night that I've had tonight. Oh, man. Anyway, right. But yeah, it was nothing bad. I mean, I, I've seen you. So, yeah, I know you were up. Because you were streaming. They were annoying me. Because they were chatting on your stream. But they weren't fucking watching your stream. That's a bit rude. You know what I mean? They should at least watch. If they're going to be chatting on it. Anyway. Right dude. Uh, I'll catch you later. All right, bye bye bye. So uh, yeah. So an amazing day. So come on. We are now going to kill the Blood Raven woman in it. Let me put my shield on. But, oh, man. It seemed to me that... I mean, I don't know the full situation. But, um... It seems to me that this guy... Because he was... I think he was a bit younger than me. Um... Very successful in whatever he does. I don't know what he does. Um... But I think he either... You know, when he was younger... You know, the same as a lot of kids. Didn't have the money, whatever, um, to buy the figures. And then as he got older, uh, when episode one came out, it was like a fresh start for, you know, we were older then. Um, and I don't know. We, we It was just an easier thing. So, I don't know. And then as he became rich or famous or whatever, actually, I don't know. Maybe someone, I don't know. But he's obviously... If you saw his house, I know you should never judge anyone. Um, for all I know, he could have been a lottery winner. I have no idea. But I think as time went on, he then was able to get in. And his true passion is, like he said, his true passion is the vintage. Is Like, he was selling quite a lot of fucking high-caliber shit. And, you know, once he worked out that, you know, this is a true collector. This isn't someone who's just... Because the stuff that I bought of him today... He knew it was underpriced. Um, and that's what scared me about it. Because it's like, th 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 this should be more expensive than this. 
So I was worried on two fronts. I was worried initially because his advert had been up already for quite a while. So my son phoned it and it was still available. And then it was like, oh my God. Anyway, I got it now. I can't, I love it. But um, yeah, it's just an amazing house and, and an amazing guy. And I'll be going back up there on Wednesday to pick up the episodes uh, three. And I'm just going to walk out the house then. He's not going to show me anything else. Nothing. I can't. I really can't. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I would. I would have just. I could. I could. I don't know. It was just. I mean, what I saw, and by the sounds of it, he's got a lot put in storage. Because I mentioned so on the way out, and he thought I'd mentioned something else, and then he mentioned um, the Ewok Village, and I said, "Don't tell me you've got an Ewok Village." And to be honest, I can't remember if he said yes or no, but I got the impression he had one. Um, but um, yeah, he, he he wants the Jawa. There's there's a, a Holy Grail Jawa, and it's something to do with a cloak. Um, it it was either it came out with a PVC cloak originally, and then they changed it to a little cloth cloak, um, or the other way around. But um, yeah. And these figures, the the you know to get, and I presume he'll want it because everything that I saw today, he he, it, you know, it was all graded, it was all safely, and it's their little boxes, um, and yeah, um, proper graded figures and that. And oh, I just I couldn't breathe in this guy's. I, I felt, I've never ever, never felt like this before ever, and I've been in tell I've been in toy shops before. I've never melted like that. Just, I don't know, it was weird. But, um, I remember looking at it and thinking, God, I wish you were my dad. That'd be awesome. But, anyway. Have I level? I'm not even, oh, I'm leveling up. Okay, we're getting there. This is so much easier. I don't have to worry about collecting pets and all that. The only thing I do have to worry about is running out of mana. Which, oh god, 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 no, 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 no. Right. Yeah, bring it. I'll play, I'll play, come on. Oh yeah, look at that. Just leveled up in time, it's giving me full energy. Um oh my arms. Right, is anything else lit? I've got a max. I've got to get to that, but I won't get to that until I'm twenty until I'm twenty-four. A lot of people say they go down to that, don't need that. Oh I do need that. That I do need. Because that regens mana. So that I should have done that before. We will. I will be using this tree, maxing out that meteor. So once the plan is get that down, down to that. So that's going to be our main one. Blizzard, right now, and then we put some in that. Some people do that. I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is. Anyway, so we're going for that and that. Then we start putting points here to get that. So we go da 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 da. Yeah? And put a point in that. I'm still giddy about that guy's house. Absolutely fucking giddy. I'm like a child. But I'm so happy. I haven't. I mean, I'm not, I don't want you to think that my life is shit because, oh no, there's, there's people out there with fucking. Fucking hell, my life is amazing compared to some people's. It really is. I've got good people around me. Um, I've got a roof over my head. So, no, nah, man. Strength. What do I... Oh, I need... I need strength for something on this character. Right. 
Uh, oh, we're still... Wait, have we been through there? See, I've been chatting the whole time. So we might have already... Have we seen Flaya? Oh, we'll have that. That's that's coming handy. I wanted to go back to get some more mana. See, when I start talking, I just forget. Oh, right. So we've got to identify these because we haven't got little man out. So sell, sell. Enhanced. It's funny when you first start. It's just you just stick anything. Six poison. Oh yeah. Ah oh, fuck! It's ethereal. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I've got a thing now. It doesn't help me when I have like a little cough like that. But if I start coughing, yeah, I've got a little button now that I can just slide up. Hang on. I'm coughing. See what happened there? Again, didn't it? Yeah, it'll keep. So there you go. You shouldn't have to listen to me. There you are. Perfect. Anyway, three to strength. Don't need that. Uh -huh. Cold resist based on what's that? Tend to attack. See, I don't really need attack. I need. I'll take that because it's blue. Um. Septic, that sounds wrong. Oh yeah, I just said that's none, so there's no point. Oh, I can't wait to get to the next bloody thing. Right, we need a belt. I can't... Let's see if she's got a belt. La 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 la. Hi, there. Hi, hello, Charcy. Yeah. I can have that. Have you got a belt, Charcy? Ooh. Ah, it's still only four. Maybe my level. I know my level does something. And I actually think in this version. Yeah, I knew it. We can hire. Oh, I don't know what to do. Because I get so attached to them. And I don't want to let them go. Um, no. No. We're not doing it. Although she's going to give us one, isn't she? When we finish this quest. Do we? We don't get a choice. So I'll take the one that comes because she came have I got a portal? Did I pour out before I run back out there? Let me just go check. No, I ported because I got the stone, didn't I? Cool. Um Yeah, because if I don't hire her, then she's basically just there as a YTS type thing, isn't she? So I'll, it won't be hard to, I can let her go. Um not sure what I'm gonna I might go for um I don't know if I can survive to lack like five with no Well I'll have her to lack like five. But yeah, I think this with this one I'm gonna go for a warrior. The act five one. Right, that uses cost nine, that costs six point five. That costs three. Six point five. Three. Six point five. Three. Seven eleven. Seven eleven. Eighteen twenty four. Seven eleven. Seven. Eight nine. Ten. Four. Eight. Six. No. Nope. Mana cost weighed up damage against I don't know. I'm trying to sound professional. But I'm gonna go with Ice Bomb. 
It's got a lower mana cost. Yes, it's got lower damage, but it's got longer cold length, whatever that means. See, that says cold length. That says freeze length. Anyway, that's lower mana, so that'll... Come on. Have we got a named in here? Oh, Bickle, Bickle, something. Oh, hang on. Oh, now I need mana. I mean, this should be stronger, higher, when we get higher level, but it'll do for now. we go. Amulet Mana 2. Chip Sapphire. I can see what this means now about the... Let me get the mana. You, come here. Was that a legendary? Oh. Faster attack. I don't know if it's good. No idea. What does that say? Poison for anything, isn't it? Fills a hole. Is that him? There he is, Bishy Boppy. Bish de Boppy. Where's he gone? Come over here, you. Ah! There's a lot of build up here. Get out my way. I'm trying to get Bishy Bosh. Move. Kill him. Yeah, bishty bosh. Got a cat, a sword, amulet, eagle. Oh, no. Sorceress is so easy. In the sense of she's in complete control. That's what I mean. Whereas the Necro, I'm dependent on my little buddies.
Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. You little bastard! Walking away. She needs two runes of Jordan. She needs anything that gives her mana. Because she is mana hungry. And I want to get her a nice fucking weapon that she can do damage with as well. Oh, I'm going to build this character into some beast. Apparently because of all the new items and that that's been added, you can do things with your characters that um, you wouldn't be able to in the other version. Um, but again, you've still got to put the work in. It's, it's not a, a thing where you can just, oh, ding, none of that. No, 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 no. If anything, it's slightly harder. I don't know. Um, you know? It just, just the backspace alone, that's, I mean, that literally, just that one thing, I think you would have won the fans. But, you know, there's a lot more to it. Is that another one? Uh, you've got the uh, slight improvements on certain classes because, you know, boom, 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 boom. I just drunk, man. Come on, die. Um, but yeah, like I said last night, I don't know why Blizzard haven't took this guy's hand and fucking paid him some fucking money and said, okay, we'll take it and we'll add it in as, you know, because come on, the game's finished, people, you don't do, it's got a ladder <coughs> for the online thing, but, you know, oh, hang on, I should have done that, Wait, one minute, I'm going to cough. brilliant that as long as I remember to click it back otherwise yeah I'll start talking and you'll never hear from me again come on Oh, if I had an endless supply of mana, that would be such a cool spell. Where are we supposed to bloody be? Right, so we spoke to her on the gate. Oh, hello. Um, I suppose we walked through the cold lands to get to the... The... I forgot what it's bloody called. I'll know it when we get there. Because that's where she... Oh my god! going on? Why is my mana not going down? I mean, I'm grateful, but I'm really not sure what's going on. 
What the fuck just happened? My mana, it was going down a touch, but it was going straight back up again. Have I put something on? <gasps> what have I put on? Right, cold resist, lightning, yeah. Increase, faster block rate, increased chance to block. Four life stolen, 20, right. Energy, yeah. Um, I don't get it. Is there a Whatever's doing it. Um, it's cool, but it just got me out of a bit of a sticky situation. Right, is this no? See the hell it's going down now. I don't know. Maybe I triggered something that I don't remember. Just get those out of the way because they do my head in. Da -da 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 -da. This does get rid of things quite good. efficiently. Um, right, we don't want them yet. Um, Is this the place? I forgot what it's bloody. <gasps> the burial grounds.
there's no air yet. Right, so now I've got to remember. No, don't hit that. I know you will. I can't use that. No. Um, no. Might as well leave stuff off her. And then put just anything. Until we get a diamond, and I can make my bag, my jewelry bag, to start putting the jewels in. Oh, I can wear that. It's not really. Uh, six, ten percent. Well, it's better than what I'm wearing, so we can wear it for now. those what did I just so I've got red flow down green I haven't got a green so take the green what about blue yeah I've got a blue and red got a red so there we go keep that and that is how we get gems back out. Let's pop that back there. And then as soon as we get a chip diamond, we can combine that and it'll give us a little pouch. And then that's how you uh, store your gems. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I've come back here for Uh -huh. Might as well see if we can get a few levels. I don't usually do all this, I usually just rush through it. But, oh don't press that. But I'm finding that a lot of people recommend that you do these oh your fire okay
-hmm. Apparently we're looking for the treasure room. And there's a named This must be the wrong place then. There's a mausoleum and there's another place in the same area. Because the name, there's only supposed to be one named and he always apparently is in the treasure room. Which apparently is, rec which is on the map as a treasure chest. I don't see a map and thing as a treasure chest. You need mana. I need mana. We all need mana. <laughs> Everybody was kung fu fighting. Ha! As fast as lightning. Do, 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 do. It was a little bit frightening. Do, 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 do. But they were fast as lightning. Oh, I see up ahead a little bit of a shine there. Either there's a named in there or there's a treasure chest. Oh, um, yeah. 
So now we have to go to the stony fields. We have to go and find the secret bit. Like the, uh, yeah. Cave thing to get to the dark wood. To get the map thing from the tree. So she can tell us which stones to activate to go and get a little decked cane. Seem to be doing all right. That's where the thing is. Sorry I've got a bit quiet, I'm getting tired. An exciting day.
Oh yeah. Stones. Quick out. She went back in to try and get the heal, and she died. Well, what a what a sad sad event that was. Well, people, I'm going to leave it there because I'm starting to get a bit tired. I know I said I wanted to get to the end of Act One, but we will. So, yes, thank you for joining me on this second ever quest. Oh, ever quest? What's the matter with me? I'm fucking giddy. Um of our Diablo, but this is the reimagined version, which I'm sorry Diablo 2, but this is just a better supreme version, so we will be staying here for now on, as, as a result we have to go back in time a bit, so we've gone down in our levels and we've got no armour, <laughs> we've got no nothing, but it'll be another journey, so yeah, if you've enjoyed what you've watched, please subscribe, and uh hit the bell icon, I don't fucking know, maybe I've got to press a button to let you all know, which I don't think I press, so I don't know if the bell icon will actually do anything, other than just fucking annoy you, um, so maybe don't do the bell icon, just pop back, I'll probably be on here tomorrow, so I'll probably have another video on the channel, so yeah, uh, yeah, enjoy it, and I will catch you all later, bye bye bye, bye.